So I said good morning. Good morning to all of you. It's indeed a great pleasure uh, to participate uh, in this significant event uh, this morning. Uh, the director has been, of course, updating me periodically on this and all the major initiatives that have been going on in this emerging uh, institute, IIT Gawati. First of all, I want to very humbly and respectfully thank the Mehta Family Foundation for their generosity, uh, for their vision, and for their patriotism and love for our motherland, India. So thank you, Rahulji, and all your uh, colleagues who are helping you to do such a wonderful task. And of course, thank you for selecting IIT Gawati. Um, I, of course, salute the vision. Uh, a lot of us travel around the world and learn wonderful things and want to bring back that glory to Bharat, to India. And so I again respectfully thank everybody who has uh, followed your championship, Rahulji, uh, and of course for selecting IIT Gawati uh, to be your partner. So at IIT Gawati, um, and Vijay, I'm sure you're aware of it and other colleagues also, but more so for Rahulji and Vijayji, um, at IIT Gawati, our strategy exactly is synergistic with what we are actually manifesting to do today. And uh, the previous director and now the enthusiastic uh, colleague, Professor Siddhartha, <laughs> has uh, led the faculty, energized the faculty at IIT Gawati to do similar things. Essentially, as you all will know, Vijay uh, and Rahulji, uh, after the five major IITs, were created in India with partnerships from five developed economies. IIT Gawati was the sixth IIT, which was um, an initiative taken by our government. So IIT Gawati in a way is slightly different. It didn't have the support and the umbrella and the care and the nurture and the transfer and the philanthropy and the support like the five previous IITs had. But I think it's been wonderfully successful as you all can see, because it's emerged as after the five old IITs, it emerged as the sixth uh, prestigious emerging universities of our country. So I think something has been done right. And I think uh, all of our colleagues, the current director and the whole faculty membership and the students and research scholars and people in the past have actually made this happen. Uh, so wonderful choice, Rahulji. I'm sure you will be very happy and feel the pride uh, over years as your uh, collaboration with our institute uh, graduates and emerges. Uh, a lot has been said about the importance of data science and artificial intelligence. And so in all of us are learn it. I don't have to tell you more. It is one of the many emerging uh, new interdisciplinary uh, programs, which the future generation of the world should understand better so that they can participate and contribute for the development of mankind. So I think it's very, very nice that uh, this uh, has been done and of obviously uh, at the undergraduate level. Um, the most uh, relevant example today and on top of everybody's mind is this dreadful uh, pandemic, as they call it, correct? Pandemic is normally word, but the pandemic which is going around the world, uh, um, COVID uh, virus and, and its manifestation. So data science and, and artificial intelligence, although we say it's being practiced, and I may be ignorant, so please excuse me for that. And I'd be happy to be educated if I have said something out of place. But in spite of the wonderful um, analysis, research in the fields of data science and artificial intelligence, you know, doing simple things like clinical trials on human beings, dose of vaccine or dose of medicines in patients affected with COVID is still done the old fashioned way by medical practitioners. Uh, it would have been wonderful if uh, data science and artificial intelligence could have been used in predicting the outcomes of various styles and the time which has been spent and the billions of dollars which have been spent in discovering yet a possible solution for this uh, infective virus would have been possible. So it's really, really, truly 
uh, a lot talked about and at, at least for the common man still a dream so i am very excited that the young emerging university iit kawati uh, will benefit by developing undergraduate students over the next 3 4 years when the first batch comes out and so on and be one of the pioneers in our country and for which i thank all the professors and of course the championship rahul ji and the mehta foundation and uh, sitaram has been keeping me updated on all the developments i particularly want to so so all in all i want to thank and uh, appreciate the gesture and i know my colleagues at iit gawati will be more than enthusiastic as rahul ji always ex- already experienced will be more than enthusiastic to participate and take this forward not only in the undergraduate program but many more programs i'm sure when you interact with sitaram he will translate the strategy which we have put in place for the last 4 5 years at iit gawati international collaborations collaborations in research for international with international faculty department to department collaborations and i have tried to influence um, our various leadership teams and i think over time it may happen but i think for india to become a knowledge hub uh, with the great manpower and the intelligence levels that we have with indian population i think collaborative research at individual level professor level department level discipline level and institution level is the only way for us to rapidly catch up and i know vijay with all his enthusiasm which i raghavan ji with all his enthusiasm in a very significant portfolio is managing and championing this initiative with the help of all the leaders of our country i also want to thank all the professors based out of america uh, for their wonderful interest professors especially professors of indian origin who really love to pay back and to the great nation the great hindustan the great bharat that we have and so i'm thankful to rahul ji but also all his team members who are uh, helping us at iit gawati in india uh, to make programs like this into reality i did allude to you know something which is on top of all our minds uh, even simple thing like distribution of uh, devices and ppe and oxygen you know with if data science and artificial intelligence would have been developed which we know unfortunately we are not um, it could ease out all the tensions and uh, you know uh, make india uh, combat this second wave you know the ratios in india because we are a large population uh, second largest population in the world the first largest population i think we don't know what ha- what's happening uh, but the second largest population in the world so of course the numbers are very high and i'm very very confident that our Uh, government in india is working you know around the clock and our colleagues uh, vijay is very sorry professor vijay raghavan is very familiar with what's going on and i'm sure he will give you assurances that you know it's it's the same uh, almost the same proportion but just because our population is 10 and 20 and 50 times different parts of the different countries of the world the numbers are overwhelming i know it's a very sad situation and you know we will all get out of this uh, situation much faster much better so um again i'm very thankful i'm amazed uh, with the progress that has been made i look forward to the beginning of this uh, program undergraduate i invite uh, rahul ji and his team to visit the wonderful campus you know rahul uh, ji uh, iit gawati is ranked as and sidram you can correct me as the leading if not the first uh, uh, aesthetically uh, and uh, uh, naturally uh, amazing campuses among all iits in india so do visit um, it's a different world and i'm sure you'll be charmed by the beauty but also the genuineness of all the hard working faculty and postdoctoral students uh, at the campus uh, i am of course fortunate before the covid period used to be a regular visitor <laughs> uh, in the last year or so it's just been challenging but we also look forward to inviting you uh, later this year hopefully when things would be stable Uh, so once again um, i thank the meta family foundation for their generosity i salute their vision um, thank you sitaram for leading you and all our faculty members as we do in following our strategy uh, of excellence at iit gawati and that is manifested in the ranks that you jump every year i want to reassure professor vijay raghavan a dear friend of mine that we are doing very well the professors are working very hard please help them i know uh, 
all uh, the political leadership is very fond of Gavati, but I know, and, and so are you. So Vijay, please uh, uh, have your virtual meetings with Sitaram and faculty, enthuse them. I know you're a wonderful motivator, Vijay. And uh, please continue to support them. There are wonderful things happening at IIT Gavati, which needs recognition. And of course, these last three or four centers, which needs uh, to be inaugurated blessings of the leadership, the prime minister. Um, please make that happen. They're a very enthusiastic group of uh, scientists and teaching faculty, which uh, you know that from your heart. And I'm sure once you uh, maybe increase, allocate a little more time, you're a very busy person, allocate a little more time with Professor Sitaram and his faculty. You will be amazed with the energy level that these guys have at Gavati. Uh, so all in all, I want to thank, of course, the Mehta Foundation for their generosity. I am blessed to be present uh, at this momentous uh, occasion of signing of the MOU, which is the first step to actually um, you know, making these things happen. And uh, I wish this a grand success. Of course, just support from all of us at the BOG at IIT Thank you very much.